Boom, all right, what's going on you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about an industry that we actually haven't covered here before on the channel, but also an industry that definitely has world-changing potential in the energy space, and that industry is uranium. So I actually traded uranium quite a bit a few years back, and I've been viewing it from a distance ever since, but it's been a while since I did any extensive research on the industry, and it was actually pretty fun catching up on all the progress that's been made in the uranium space, and specifically the nuclear energy space. So I'm excited for you guys to learn a little something about this industry if you're not yet familiar we're all learning here together so let's get into it as always we'll quickly go over each topic we're going to be discussing and then we'll dive into each one individually to kick it off we will read over one of my good old little write-ups that i made for you guys that just pretty much sums up my fundamental argument for uranium and uh why uranium why now this write-up consists simply of what is uranium, because of course, before going into uh, any any of the applications and use cases for uranium, it's important to understand what uranium actually is, and then just a very, very brief summary of why I personally like uranium, okay? So we will go over this, we'll then move into, because uh, again, as I just mentioned, uranium's primary use case is in nuclear energy, we'll go over nuclear power in the world today, just a few bullet points here, keep it real simple, but just to give you guys uh, a very general understanding of of, of where we're at in terms of nuclear power from the World Nuclear Association, from, so very reputable source here. And then after that, we will dive into a sponsored review from Uranium Royalty Corp and or ticker symbol URCCF. This is an OTC stock, okay? So you guys, the Waves family appreciates the sponsors. And, and again, it's always fun diving into a sector that I'm not too familiar with. Again, Uranium, I traded a few years ago. I did do, I have done a, a fair amount of research on this industry in the past. But again, that was a while ago and a lot of progress can be made since. So we will establish the base case for Uranium fundamentally. And then again, we will dive into the sponsored review for Uranium Royalty Corp. Take a look at the website, go over the company about, um, take a look at the portfolio a little bit, why URC, and just obtain an understanding of why this is a cool company. As always, you guys, do your own research on this. Again, this is a sponsored review. We appreciate them. I did my vetting. I personally think this is a cool company, but always do your own research for yourself, all right? Uh, and then again, we will close it out by taking a look at URCCF on the charts. Just looking at this, you guys, I'm sure many of you are seeing what I'm seeing. The short term looks bullish, and actually the long term looks very bullish too, if the short term plays out uh, as, as I would expect it to. So of course I will explain to you guys why this is my price target, and uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously bullish there, okay? So before we do get into it, as always, I will ask you guys to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, want to catch more content like this. And again, show the sponsors some love, you guys. The way this is a we thing, not a me thing. Show the sponsors some love. Um, and again, let me know what you think of them down below in the comments if you choose to look into them. Again, always your own research, but if you check them out, like them, let me know in the comments why that is, and uh, let me know why you like uranium if you've been invested in this, in this space uh, prior to watching this video, okay? So uh, let's get into it. Uranium. Why uranium? Why now? What is uranium? Uranium is a silvery white metallic element that is malleable, ductile, very dense, and naturally radioactive. Uranium has several important industrial applications, but its principal use is as a fissionable material to produce nuclear fuel for electricity generation. Why do I like uranium? It's news to none of you that the world is trending towards more eco-friendly and renewable energy. Nuclear fission is a foundational aspect of that industry, and uranium is at the core of that nuclear energy. Well, punny. Nations across the world will continue to build out more nuclear power plants, therefore significantly increasing demand for uranium. So again, you guys, if more nuclear power is required, more nuclear power plants are going to be, uh, be going up, be built out. I know China and the U.S., especially under the Biden administration, are really pushing towards, again, more eco-friendly, more green energy. And again, nuclear fusion is, is one, of the, one of the pinnacles of the green energy space, all right? And again, supply and demand, that's simple supply and demand, economics 101 right there. The more nuclear energy that is needed, the more uranium is, <laughs> that is, the more uranium is going to be needed to, to provide that nuclear energy, okay? So, again, very base case there. Go do your own research if you're interested in uranium. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of, of why I'm personally bullish on uranium and, of course, what it is. So, again, we will dive into the charts at the very end. This looks so bullish right here. Um, but, again, that's at the very end. We have to establish the fundamentals first. Let's go over quickly nuclear power in the world today, updated March 2021. So, nice, nice timely updates. 
The first commercial nuclear power station started operations in the 1950s. Nuclear energy now provides about 10% of the world's electricity from about 444 power reactors. So again, you guys, 10%, there's, there's still such a long way to go. This is still such a young, although it started in the 50s, this is still, uh, if you're talking about the macro, the grand scheme of things, uh, we still have a long, long way to go here. Nuclear is the world's second largest source of low carbon power, 29% of the total in 2018. I wouldn't be surprised if it continues to trend in that direction. I'd Obviously, we don't see a chart of that right now, but I imagine it's it's climbing pretty steadily um, to the upside. Lastly, over 50 countries utilize nuclear energy in about 222 research reactors. In addition to research, these reactors are used for the production of medical and industrial isotopes as well as for training. Okay, so again, you guys, the more nuclear power plants, the more nuclear reactors that are required, the more uranium is required. So a stock that is a very, again, this is a sponsored video. Just continue to make that very clear, but... I did my vetting. This seems like a cool company to me. Let's figure out why that is. So Uranium Royalty Corp, the first and only pure play Uranium Royalty Company. Let's go to company. Always got to kick it off with the about. About Uranium Royalty Corp. There we go. There's the highlights. I knew I highlighted them. Uranium Royalty Corp is focused on gaining exposure to uranium prices by making strategic investments in uranium interests, including royalties, streams, debt, and equity in uranium companies, as well as through physical uranium transactions. The company's strategy recognizes the inherent cycl cyclicality of valuations based on uranium prices, including the availability on capital in di uh, different pricing environments. Okay, so let's go to YURC right here. Check out their business strategy. Just get, obtain a little deeper of an understanding of what what specifically they do so business strategy and then we'll we'll jump straight into the charts to be honest okay so the company's long-term strategy is to gain exposure to uranium prices by owning and managing a portfolio of geographically diversified uranium interests including uranium royalties and streams debt and equity investments in uranium companies and holding physical uranium from time to time in executing this strategy the company seeks interests that provide a direct exposure to uranium prices without the direct operating costs and con concentrated risks that are associated with the exploration development and mining of uranium projects in addition to its existing portfolio of royalties and its strategic investment in yellow cake the company's primary focus is to identify evaluate and acquire the following royalties in uranium projects pursuant uh, to which the company would receive payments from op operators of uranium mines based on production and or sales of uranium products uranium streams pursuant to which the company would make an upfront payment to a project owner or operator in exchange for long-term rights to purchase a fixed percentage of future uranium production offtake or other agreements pursuant to which the company would enter into long-term purchase agreements uh, or options to acquire physical uranium products and direct strategic equity or debt investments in companies engaged in the exploration development and or production of uranium so these guys are really just diversifying themselves across the uranium sector which i like i again diversification is always a very good thing so let's actually go to portfolio i believe portfolio this is actually what i want to show you guys so portfolio overview overview again you guys if you're interested in this go to the site for yourself check out these specific um areas that they're working in and stuff but the company accumulates and manages a portfolio of geograph geographically diversified uranium interests that may be acquired directly from mine operators as well as third-party holders of existing royalties across the spectrum of project stages from grassroots to production in evaluating such transactions the company utilizes a disciplined approach to manage its fiscal profile so again, you guys, go check these guys out for yourself. These guys are really spreading themselves well across the uranium sector, at least to my knowledge from, from uh, the, the somewhat extensive dive that I've taken back in uranium. This company seems very poised to do well if uranium does well, all right? So that said, again, check them out. I will link their website down below. If you guys want to, as always, you guys, look at their team. Check, I know their presentation is coming soon. Check out the news. Let's actually look at news real quick, news releases, because that's very important as well. Consistency in news. March 30th, March 2nd, just Uranium Royalty Corp exercises initial tranche of 10-year supply agreement to acquire $10 million of physical uranium at $28.73 per pound. I know a lot of analysts, I believe at Morgan Stanley, the analysts are projecting by like 2024, 2025. Please correct me on that if I'm wrong, you guys. I know it's an analyst, it's some big bank, uh, some analyst team at a big bank, but they're projecting a $50 uranium price by about 2024. So that's almost a 2x from here, about, uh, you know, like an 80 80% uh, appreciation from current levels. So that's a, that's good news in itself right there. And again, you guys always check out the news, check out the consistency of the news, check out the team, all that good stuff. But I will leave that for, uh, to, for you to do by yourself if you are interested in checking out this company. That said, 
let's dive into the charts and talk about why this is looking so darn bullish. So on the four hours here, you can see uh, URCCF has been in a pretty beautiful uptrend uh, starting at the beginning of the year, actually before that. So actually way back um, in December, we started this move up. Uh, URCCF was actually at, let's, let's go to this low here and, uh, like on Christmas Eve, it was at a dollar. So it's three X since Christmas. Um, that's the type of growth you'd love to see. What's your, uh, what's their market cap at? Market cap at is at $180 million. You guys know I love small market cap stocks because it takes less capital inflow to the stock to appreciate the individual share price. So there's oh, that always leads to potential if the company continues to execute, if enough volume is, is, uh, is, pushed into the stock which you're again you're saying like compared to way back here this is some crazy volume comparative to um to 2020 okay so 2021 has been seeing a lot of uh beautiful price action a lot of volume and on the short term right here i know you guys have been looking at it they got a beautiful little bull a little bull flag so probably my single favorite pattern to trade because it's just so it's it it it, <laughs> it proves to be uh, effective far more often than not bull flag of course as the name implies is a bullish pattern uh Parabolic move up, creating the flagpole, followed by descending triangle, creating the flag itself. This is going to be resolved pretty soon here if it does, in fact, play out as a bull flag. So short term, you're seeing the bull flag again. More often than not, it's not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed, you guys. But more often than not, the bull flags usually do resolve themselves to the upside. If we do see a breakout in URCCF, strictly from a technical perspective, it only makes sense to me that we will go uh, ultimately go to test the top side of this ascending channel, uh, test the top line of resistance on the overall uptrend. You get the touch point here. End of January, another touch point here mid-February that would lead us to just say let's just take uh, May okay so May 5th for example it's all dependent on when the line of resistance is ultimately reached to dictate price targets but say uh, hypothetically May 5th if this resistance is tested on May 5th that would take us to five dollars and seventy cents okay so Again, you guys, uh, if you do fall, if you do want to check out this company, always draw your own trend lines on the charts. Do your own DD, do your own TA, do everything. But to me, this looks very good right now. Uh, but again, always do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay. So once again, we appreciate the sponsors, you guys. Please show Uranium Royalty Corp some love. Once again, ticker symbol URCCF. Keep in mind this is an OTC. So uh, yeah, I will link all their stuff down uh, down below. Please once again let me know. If you guys have traded uranium before, if you guys like uranium, I know I've, I, in like the Discord and stuff, I always see it. I, I see it pop up every once in a while. And of course, because the world is trending, especially uh, again under the Biden administration and whatnot, the world is rapidly going to be trending at a pace that requires more uranium uh, through nuclear fission. Okay, so please let me know. Please educate me because I definitely need more education on the space. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be smarter uh, than me in this specific field. Okay, so love talking shop with you guys. Love learning from you guys. So I'll catch you in the comments down below. And until next. Time. always remember take action make waves peace